Hello friends, I am Prithik M. Goyal. Right now I am doing my MBBS from Ames New Delhi. Now in this lesson I will teach you about ECG or the electrocardiogram. Now it is a diagnostic and a research purpose test which is done on human subjects. Now it records the electrical activity of the heart and uh, you can see that uh, the electrodes are placed over the skin and uh, used for diagnostic and research purposes. Now the machine through which we record the ECG is known as electrocardiograph while the recording of that particular machine is known as electrocardiogram. There is a difference gram and graph. Okay, so now we will see the positions of electrodes which are used for recording an ECG. Now the positions are on the right arm, left arm and on the left leg. Now here you can see that there is an electrode on the right leg also. Now this denotes a grounded electrode and this is not a recording electrode. So it is mentioned in the NCRT the positions of leads are right arm, left arm and the left leg. There is a triangle formation over here you can see and this triangle is known as Einthovian triangle. Einthovian was the scientist who discovered and invented this technique of ECG. Now ECG can be used for diagnosis of uh, heart diseases like myocardial infarctions. Now we will see that why there is electrical activity within the heart muscles or the cardiac muscles. Why there are electrical activity recorded. So to answer this particular question we need to understand the concepts of polarized membrane, depolarized membrane and the repolarized membrane. It is similar to that of depolarization in the nerve. But the ions involved are quite different. In cardiac muscles, there is a calcium ions involved, while in nerve, there are uh, sodium and potassium and other main ions. Okay, so in the polarized state, you can see that with inside the cell, we have negative charges because of the proteins. The negative anions, protein anions, are more uh, within inside the cell, and while the out at the outside of the membrane you can see there is positive charges because of the excess of sodium ions. Now in the depolarized condition, depolarized condition when we give an impulse or uh, ex the muscles are excited then the po polarity changes that is inside of the membrane become positive while outside of the membrane become negative. Okay. After this repolarization occur after some time and in the repolarized state the negative charges are present on the inside of the membrane while the positive charges are outside the membrane. So because of the changes of the ion concentration there is electrical activity within the cardiac muscles which is recorded through the ECG and from the ECG we can diagnose various diseases of heart. Now we will we have to see the conduction within the heart for determining what wave in the ECG determines what. Okay, so right now we will see that there is SA node. Now SA node is the main pacemaker of the heart. It send impulses through internodal fibers to AV node. And from the AV node, the fibers known as AV bundle or bundle of his travels divides into the two bundle branches and then to the Purkinje fibers. Also, when the SA node uh, provides impulses, it also provides impulses to both the atria and not to the ventricles because the atrioventricular septa is fibrous in nature. Because of its fibrous nature, electrical signals cannot pass from atria to ventricle directly and they have to take this route. Now, we will see a generalized ECG pattern. Okay, so here you can see that there is a first wave which is known as P wave, after which there is Q, R and S, then there is T. Okay, so P wave represents the depolarization of atria in response to SNO triggering. As the SNO triggers, uh, complete atria depolarizes. Now, after the atrial depolarization, there is ventricular depolarization. So, the QRS complex is present which shows the depolarization of ventricles and uh, 
after the qrs complex or the depolarization of the ventricles the main pumping contractions of the heart occurs after the qrs complex we have the t wave t wave shows the ventricular depolarization now between the p wave and the q wave we have pr interval this is the pr interval this one so pr interval shows the delay of the av node and this particular delay allows the filling of ventricles now we have st segment beginning of ventricle depolarization is shown by the st segment and st segment should be flat now if it is raised elevated or depressed then it shows a disease condition within the heart okay so we can see the generalized pattern of ecg now we will see that how ecg is being used in our day to day life or the doctor's life so here we can see that activation of atria gives p wave okay activation of ventricles activation of ventricles activation of ventricles give qrs complex while recovery wave which is the repolarization wave gives the t wave now there is another way view wave now it is generally asked in the uh, exams that what q wave represents so q wave represents the apical repolarization it is an important question now we can see that uh, a heart beat can be shown we can see that uh, uh, within a minute how many qrs complex is there and the normal heart rate can be calculated now fast heart rate uh, is there if qrs complex occurs more frequently and slow heart rate can be there if qrs complex occur less frequently irregular heart beat is also shown so by this way we can see that uh, ecg has various uses also if the st segment st segment is raised it shows the condition of myocardial infarction and also if pr interval is in, uh, elongated it shows the condition of long av delay which is not good for our heart so now we will conclude that an ecg is a diagnostic purpose test Uh, for uh, the diagnosis of heart diseases or the cardiac diseases and it has a p wave q wave r wave s wave which is known as qrs complex and there is t wave and sometimes there is a u wave and also the variation in this particular sequence or the uh, amplitude of these particular waves shows the disease condition of the heart so by this i conclude my lect lecture thank you for watching this video